Good evening. Welcome to another episode with Hayden B. Grilling. Now picture this, a deer and a pig roll into a grill. Sounds like the intro to a bad joke, but that's exactly what we're doing tonight. We're going to take a back strap, we're going to stuff a cream cheese jalapeno, and we're going to wrap it with bacon, and we're going to put that dude on the grill. So sit tight, let's get this one started. So we just pulled our deer meat out of the package, now we're going to pat it dry with a paper towel. This is what we're going to use on the back strap. Pour this onto the back strap, and then brush it all over, front and back. Next, we're going to cut a slit all the way down the back strap. Next, we're going to grab the good rub, and we're going to season the back strap, front and back. Make sure you get the sides as well. Next, we're going to cut our cream cheese into long strips then we're going to lay that into the slit of the back strap next we're going to add in our jalapenos until the entire thing is lined with cream cheese and jalapenos next we're going to layer bacon in the in a pan and we're going to overlap the edges just a little bit once all your bacon is laid out put your back strap on the bacon and fold the bacon up over the back strap. Use skewers to hold the bacon in place. Next, we're gonna cut the excess skewers. Now that we got all the prep work done, we're gonna fire up the grill. We're gonna shoot for that 300 to 325 degrees temperature in the grill. Now, before we put this on the grill, I just wanna throw this out there. With the pork loin, we shot for that 165 internal temperature. But tonight, we're gonna to be doing this deer meat, and deer meat's a real red meat like beef. So for tonight, so we don't overcook it, we're gonna shoot for 130 internal temperature. All right, folks, you can see we're at 319. It's been kind of bouncing around that temperature. So we're gonna go ahead and bump the heat up just a little bit, because when we raise the lid to put our back strap on, we're gonna drop on temperature. All right, folks, so we just put her on the grill. We're gonna let it set for five minutes. So we're gonna rotate it quarter of a turn. You can see there we got our probe in the end of our loin back strap rather so that way we can track the internal temperature so our timer just went off just hit our five minute mark so we're going to take and just kind of roll this over and i want to move it around a little bit because i'm i'm climbing temperature faster than i'd like to really so now we're going to Shut the lid and let it go another five minutes. So our timer just went off again. And so what I did was rather than rotating it for another five minutes, I turned it a quarter a turn and we're gonna do another three minutes because our internal temperature of the back strap was climbing a little faster than what I was anticipating. So we're gonna knock it down to three minutes and see how that does us. All right, folks, I just brought it in the house uh, so I could cut into it and show you guys how this is looking. So I cut into the deer meat there and this got the perfect perfect medium rare look to it all right folks we're gonna give it that all important taste test here it goes mm. <laughs> folks i'll tell you what that right there was damn good you had the bacon the cream cheese the jalapenos the deer meat the barbecue sauce, the good rub. I'm telling you what, it all blended in perfectly for a perfect concoction, perfect mixture. And I'm telling you guys, I'm not saying that just because I cooked it. If I cook something right here on this channel, if it tastes like crap, I'm gonna say, hey, don't eat that. It tastes like crap. But fortunately, we've been on a good run, making some good videos, some damn good meals. So please, if you guys like this video, Please like, subscribe, and please try this. I'm telling you what, you will not regret it. Trevor Reed, thank you for the deer meat. Give me a couple more, huh?